Hey everybody. So this video is going to be an update for dating in the Bay in San Francisco. So I moved here last April from Minnesota. And in Minnesota for the last couple of years I haven't dated. And there's some background on that with drama with uh, a guy I used to date. And I thought, you know, moving to this new city, I am going to be able to date anyone I want. There seem to be a lot of guys here, and I have to say that I have a preference towards tall guys. Um, sometimes I get asked, like, oh, what kind of race do you like? I pretty much like any race. Now, I have not dated an Indian guy, but if he looked like um, Saeed from Lost, I would be all about that. Well, he doesn't have to actually look just like Saeed. Anyway, I mean, like, of course, I'm black and Jewish, black and Jewish, black and Jewish. I had to put that in there. Oh, <laughs> but, um, like, I had a crush on Dave Duchovny for years. I'm also about mixed folks as well. I mean, so race really doesn't matter. But what I want to do is I want to kind of give a wrap-up to, like, it's been a year now that I've been dating. Um, and I've learned a lot and gone on a lot of dates. And I even called this the Summer of Boys um, in 2011, right? So, uh, and last week I had to tell one guy that, um, like, he and I just weren't going to work out. Um, I, the chemistry just wasn't there. He's a really nice guy. So I just want to kind of do a review, I guess, of the guys I've dated and just let you know where things are at now because you guys have been rooting me on. I love it. Like, <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't sure about like doing updates to my channel about dating and relationships, but you guys have been really helpful, really supportive, and so I might as well just let you know. So I decided to make a hashtag called Dating in the Bay. And on there I was like, I'm gonna just talk about when I go on dates. Because I guess it all started, I went out last year somewhere to eat. And uh, actually it was two years ago, it was 2009. I went somewhere to eat and I made a comment about the people sitting next to me because the guy was just like, yeah, 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 just talking about himself and how he works out and what he eats and she looked so bored. So I tweeted that and then people thought I was on a date. I'm like, Psst, I'm not on a date, so people next to me. And they got me thinking like, maybe I could share my dating journey with people online. And then I took it a step further and I said, you know what, there are some pretty awesome guys out there who I know who are married, you know, they're church going type men. You know, I look up to them, I admire them. Maybe they could be like my filters. You know, they could they, they could meet the guys either in person or virtually and kind of vet them for me. I was like, this could work out really nice. So I don't have any brothers. I I realize now that it it would be really nice to have like a brother, you know, someone to kind of filter the guys. Anyway, so um, I sat on that for a while and uh, so one of my first dates last year, because then I made this rule, this goal, I'm like, I will go on a date by September 30th and uh, I was really trying to make it happen organically like where I would meet someone uh, but it's kind of hard and awkward so one of my first dates was actually through OkCupid and the reason I used OkCupid was because my friend in Minnesota had tried it and I met one of the guys who she met through there and he seemed nice so I'm like I'll try it and we went on a couple of dates but this guy um, how can I explain it he, he did technology as well, which I was like, nice. Uh, there were a couple of things. He was a vegetarian. In fact, he was a vegan. Ugh. I realized I can't date a vegan. Um, he was really cut, though. Like, he had, like, just tons of muscles and, like, a washboard stomach. You may be asking, well, Adria, how do you know that, right, if you just want a couple of dates? Oh, because he made it known. Like, one time we uh, agreed to do a Skype video. He's not wearing a shirt. And I'm like, what's up with that? That's just like a little bit too much for me. Anyway, needless to say, that did not last very long. So this was one of my first dates. Um, then I uh, dated a programmer. I thought that would be a good idea. I've dated programmers in the past. I think, you know, I mean, obviously being in technology is hot. It's a turn on for me. We can talk about things. Um, this guy, no, immature. Right? I uh, went on another date with a guy who was a teacher. Uh, actually, I've been on dates with two teachers now. <laughs> with the guy last year, uh, he lied in his profile. So uh, at the end of our first date, uh, I told him we couldn't go on a second date because he wasn't as tall as he said he was. Like, I mean, because look, if you stand up, like I'm 5'7", so you need to be 5'8", 
eight, or actually ideally you're five, like ten or eleven at least, minimally. Ideally you're six feet or something. That's that's hot. I mean, what can I say? It's genetics. Anyway, so I told him, you know what, we can't go another date. I'm sorry. Um, and then, you know, I would say like during the holidays, I didn't really date that much. Um, and I did one of those spoon date things. That was just more like social, but it was fun. And I think not until March when I went to South by Southwest. And then I went to Violet Blue, who is a sex positive instructor, teacher, counselor, author, podcaster, all these things. And she has an awesome website. She's fucking awesome. Uh, she had a session called the Sexual Survival Guide for Geeks at South by Southwest. And I went with uh, Robert Hookman and Miss Her, and we had a great time. Plus, there was really good information and free condoms. Um, and things like that. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's really good information in her session, and I felt really empowered. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take flirting in my own hands. I am going to be empowered. I am going to go after guys that I am interested in. Mm, just renewed vows there, right? Um, and so I decided to declare this a summer of boys. Now, one of the bad things that happened this year is that Bluey passed away, my dog, of eight years. Um, and that made me really really sad uh, for a while. So I would say that definitely interrupted the whole like dating thing. Now you may be asking like, waiter, what do you want? I mean, you just, you just want to date somebody, right? Because that's the other thing. I was all like, get married. Psst. I never want to do that. Marriages for chumps. Well, but then I met Ava and that's when I was at the Black Enterprise Entrepreneurs Conference in Atlanta. And Ava was really cool. Like it was so weird. We just started talking to each other in line and she is really down to earth. And it turns out a book that I was reading, uh, she had already read. And we just had this like great conversation. And she, you know, I told her, she said, well, what do you want, Adria? And I told her, I said, this is what I want. You know, ideally I want someone I can travel with. I want someone who is supportive of my ideas, who, who speaks my love language. Yeah, there's this book called The Five Love Languages. Uh, you know, those sorts of things. And she's like, well, Adria, what's so different about what you want, you know, than what marriage is? And I kind of had to agree that they're really more similar than they are different. And so I said, you know what, Ava, let me think about this. All right, you know what, I do want marriage. Because really marriage is commitment, right? Um, and if you're not married, you're not committed, no matter what you say. You're just really kind of in limbo. So I accepted that I would be willing to explore the thought of marriage. Although I'm not like trying to get married. And I certainly still don't want to have kids. That has not changed. <sighs> but it was really scary. And I had to kind of like look into myself and whatever. Okay, so then I decided that this was the summer of boys. And I was going to date, get my date on and date, date, date. And that went good overall, I think. Except I tried to date people who I really wasn't into. But I thought like like they would be good for me. So I was like, oh, let me date them. Um, but even like my roommate at one time I was like, Adria, you're not really into that guy, so why see him again? I'm like, you know what, you're right. Uh, and that's because he was a friend of a friend. I was like, oh, well, you know. Um, and the other thing is the ask. So if you have friends, you should ask them to connect you with people that they know who could potentially, you know, be someone you'd want to date. Um, and really good advice I got from my other roommate is go out, meet people. You can't meet people if you're at home. And that's definitely, definitely true. So, um, the summer's coming to a close. Labor Day is here, right? So do I have a specific guy, you know, who I'm all chummy with and, you know, just one-on-one? -on -one? Not yet. Getting there. It's in getting closer to it. Um, I think it's hard. I think it's hard. I realize it's it's really hard, I think, living in San Francisco. Um, and that was one of the things that uh, the couple that I met with December 2009, they warned me about that. They said, everyone here is transient. So it's hard to create new relationships because people are always moving, always traveling, all this stuff, right? People have like their own careers. And so I don't know. I don't know what that means for me. Like, does that mean I'll move somewhere else? I'm not sure. Um, in order to find love. But I just want to give you guys an update. Um, I've had some really amazing dates. I've had dates where I feel really special. I feel cherished. I feel very much like in the moment. 
Uh, I've had dates where I feel very connected to the guy I'm with. Uh, seen fireworks with guys. It was kind of nice. A lot of different things. Um, so, what can I say? I'm trying to think. Um, I feel I feel grateful to be here. There are a lot of guys to choose from. It's kind of like going to a fish market. It's a lot of different fish. Like, of course, there's salmon and tuna, but there's there's soul and there's a lot of other type of fish out there too. I don't even know if that's a good uh, comparison because <laughs> like what I'm a piece of fish. Sorry. No, I mean nice fish, very tasty fish. I like sushi and all sorts of other fish. You know. Um, because I wouldn't say meat market because I think that just sounds too tacky. Anyway, um, so no big update. Like, there's no one, like, super special in my life yet that I'm certain of, if that makes sense. And, yes, I realize now I have a fear of commitment. Even though I thought I wanted commitment, I actually am afraid of it. I am afraid of committing to the wrong person. I am afraid that the other person will say they're committed to me and they're not. I am afraid of making a commitment and then missing out on something better. can't believe I'm being this honest, but I'm going to. Um, I'm afraid of, um, yeah, just making the wrong decision. I'm afraid of committing to something and then it's like, I guess it's like ordering um, a meal and then you get it and you're like, that wasn't really satisfying. Like in your other choices where I could have just skipped eating here, right? I should have just gone home and cooked. You know what I mean? I don't want to be, I shouldn't, love shouldn't come with regret. Like they shouldn't be together. So yeah, I want to go into that restaurant and feel just really full and really satisfied, you know? And I want, even when I come in, I want them to know, like if it's a coffee shop, I want them to know what kind of coffee I like, you know? Or if it's a place I frequent a lot, I want them to pour me my favorite glass of wine. I mean, that's how I feel like love should be. And uh, my <laughs> my roommate, <laughs> he sent me this um, this blog post or this um, article, and it was about settling. Uh, and so settling for you know, because if you hold out for someone who like you've never even met or seen, like how are you gonna know that they're even out there one, and how are you gonna even be able to recognize them? Um, so I think these complexities come up. I don't know if they come for everybody. Maybe some people are just like, let me just throw myself into this and see what happens. And then they come out on the other side, gasping oh, for air. I don't know. Um, anyway, so I hope to uh, give you guys an update, you know, maybe in a month or two and let you know that, you know, I'm, I'm dating someone who I find to be remarkable and amazing and completely satisfying. That's what I would love to report back on. Um, so until then, though, I'll stick to my technology <laughs> otherwise. But thanks, and you know, you guys are great. Um, I hope you liked the video that I made thanking all of you for subscribing. Um, I wish I had done it sooner, but it was kind of a hard thing, you know, but I'm really glad I did it already. Like, you guys, there's like 30 comments on that um, video already. So, mwah, thank you. Bye.